Here to join us to tell us a little bit more about today's West Bloomfield football game, we have Sean Belegian, play-by-play announcer with State Champs. Sean, thank you so much for being with us today. Oh, it's a pleasure. You know what? Uh, this is the, the best time of year it really is, and what a heck of a matchup we have tonight. Absolutely, and I love that announcer voice. You already got it ready to go for the game tonight. I love it. So, Sean, what were your thoughts on West Bloomfield's performance against Birmingham Groves, especially considering they started off the game with the first score, but then they kind of started to fall behind pretty soon afterwards? Yeah, you know, I, I think a couple things jump out to me. Number one, I, I think defensively, you know, they've been able to force some turnovers, and that certainly served them well early. But uh, when the opposition can get that run game going and, and, you know, everything starts to roll downhill, it's so tough to play from behind. Look, there are so many good schools. The secret is out all around the nation about the quality and caliber of play in the MHSAA in the great state of Michigan now. And unfortunately, you know, for, from a West Bloomfield perspective, uh, Groves was able to get that run game going, and it's tough to fight uphill, and that's the position the Lakers found themselves in. Absolutely. It can be difficult sometimes to bounce back after so much happens in the beginning. And looking at the West Bloomfield strength so far this season, what aspects of their game stand out to you the most, would you say? I think the ability to force the turnovers, that's huge. I mean, as we were just talking about it, to, to get that that turnover, what was it, on the second play of the game? And obviously that served them well in, in the victory against uh, Chip Valley, the, the huge victory against Chip Valley. When the offense gets going, it shows that it can roll. Now, that's also been a weakness, and I'm sure we'll get to that momentarily. But when the offense gets going and, and finds that rhythm, it, it, it's shown that it can put up points at will. And that, again, is a double-edged sword because it's what will it take to get that going right away. I think a couple of sluggish starts in that regard and then and then trying to get back into situations – that's something that we're going to have to keep an eye on, and certainly they don't want to see tonight in this game against Rochester Adams. Of course, they certainly do not want to repeat history. They want to bounce back after that game, Sean. I'm, I'm very, very sure of it. And what are, your or, what are your expectations, apologies, for the Lakers heading into their matchup tonight against Rochester Adams? Because Rochester Adams, they're undefeated. They are 3-0. and But with that loss last week that the Lakers had, is that going to affect things tonight? I don't think so. I think with the Lakers, you know, what you've seen is one of the premier programs in the state for a while. And, and you know, you've seen adversity before and, and you just look ahead and you and you focus on the task at hand. There's no looking back. This is a team that's been there and done that. I think they've created a culture and a mentality, if you will. So I, I'm not going to be surprised at all to see them bounce back. I think they're going to look for ways to get that offensive rhythm going, to be sure. I, I think that's one thing that I think everybody's hoping for and looking for from a, a, a Lakers standpoint. But no, I don't think there's going to be any worry. A team, the caliber of the Lakers, a program, the caliber of the Lakers, I would expect them to bounce back. And, and to be honest with you guys, I'm not just saying this. I expect a dandy tonight. Uh, and, and, you know, you're talking about two top teams, two teams that certainly have done so much in the last few years. It should be a dandy tonight. I hope so. I, I think you're right. I think this is shaping up to be a very exciting game. Sean Belegian, play-by-play -play, play -play announcer for State Champs, joins us today on the Splash Live to talk about the upcoming game from the West Bloomfield Lakers taking on Rochester Adams. Now, in the last game against Groves, there was a quarterback change in the fourth quarter. So my question to you is, who do you think is the best fit for starting quarterback for the rest of the season? I think that's a great question, and I think you're going you're gonna to have to figure that out sooner rather than later, and that goes back to what we were just talking about. It's like, okay, what do we have to do to find that rhythm right away? We know how explosive this offense can be. We know how many different pieces can hurt you. You have a Mr. Football candidate, uh, for goodness sake, uh, you know, a four-star who's taking his talents to Toledo. So this is a situation that, you know, maybe – this is the time of year where you sit back and go, okay, guys, whoever gets that spark, that's who we're rolling with. Because I, I think right now with the caliber 
of of opponents on this schedule you can ill afford to get off to slow starts you can ill afford to find yourself uh you know again fighting uphill especially on the road against a team the caliber of the highlanders absolutely and yes i think that they got to figure out this decision soon, and I think once they've solidified something, it's going to be even better. Now, both West Bloomfield and Rochester Adams had very, very big wins against Chippewa Valley, and I think this should mean this will be a very intense game tonight. How do you see this matchup shaping up? Are you expecting a close game? Oh, 100%. As I said, I think what the, the Lakers are, are going to bounce back. I mean, they're going to get fired up. And uh, let's be honest, I, I think part of the interesting story that comes into this, if you're Rochester Adams, is they remember what happened last year. Let's not forget, this is a West Bloomfield team that beat them twice, including in the playoffs. And that was a big, big win, as you recall by a score of 42 to 14. So I think that's one of the interesting storylines heading into this game is, okay, how do the Lakers bounce back from that loss? And and, and what kind of revenge is on the Highlanders mind? And, and, and you put it all together and we should have a dandy out at Rochester Adams tonight. Absolutely. Such a dandy indeed. Sean, thank you so much for your time today. One more quick question. What will West Bloomfield need to do differently on the road to bounce back from last week's loss and to properly compete against Rochester Adams tonight? What is the biggest I, thing? I get the offense going. I, I can't I can't imagine them, you know, going through that sputtering type of scenario that you've seen at various points. I, I think certainly even even to start the Chip Valley game and and then, uh, you know, with the Groves game, I, I think get that offense going, find that rhythm, because once they do, they've shown they can move the ball. They can put the points on the board defensively. I think keep doing what you're doing. You know, this is a team that has forced some big turnovers and put, you know, either put points on the board or put this offense in a, in a position of favorability. So I, I think you put those th two things together, and I really, really like the Lakers' chances. And let's hope that things work out a lot differently for the Lakers tonight than they did last week. Sean, thank you so much for your time today. Anytime, fellas. Keep up the great work.